back now on Try It Today, and I'm excited about meeting this uh, guest. It's our first time here. Jay Power Director, if we can meet the lovely Dr. Betsy Armentrout. Paige was her maiden name, in case anybody wants to know. We had a whole discussion about that off camera. She is with, of course, Ford Simpson Lively and Rice Pediatrics, a cornerstone healthcare practice. Welcome, Betsy. How are you doing? Thank you. Very well, thank you. Betsy, let's start off. We're talking about the flu. You said off camera. So let's talk about the flu and kids. Uh, should children receive an annual flu shot? Yes. Um, all children, once they're six months old and older, should receive a flu vaccine yearly. That not only helps protect them from having the flu, but it also really helps protect the rest of the community because children, as many parents can tell you, are the ones who bring these infections home to spread. Absolutely, but I mean, is there a point, is, is there a certain age that a child is more vulnerable to getting the flu than other ages? Sure, really throughout childhood, when children are in daycare, preschools, in school, or even have a sibling in one of those environments, they're likely to be exposed to the flu. Children are at most risk of coming down with the flu and some of its complications when they're younger infants and preschool age children. Now this may be part two of the same question or maybe you've already answered it in part, but let me phrase it a different way. It's, it's, some people will say, especially parents, they say, oh yeah, Johnny gets the flu all the time, that's no big deal, all kids get the flu. On the other hand, aren't there certain kids who are more at risk than others? Absolutely. Um, children who have other medical complications like asthma, cerebral palsy, seizure disorders, diabetes, these are children who are at more risk of having more serious infections. Um, and that can include complications of the flu like pneumonia, dehydration, ear infections. Also, babies and toddlers are really just at higher risk for those complications because of their age and because of their young immune systems. Uh, what steps can, uh, can parents take to prevent their kids from getting this, the flu, or is it just it's just going to happen anyway. I mean, can they prevent it? Well, exposure is likely to happen regardless of what they do. Um, if, a, if a parent gets their child a vaccination, that's really going to help. Also, it's important to help teach at home ways to stop the spread of germs. Teach your child how to wash their hands well. Teach your child to wash their hands before they eat and drink. Show them how to cough into their sleeve get rid of their dirty tissues. These things will all help. Because this stuff just goes rampant. And I get, and this is one of my pet peeves, and you can either comment on it or not or, or leave immediately, I mean, <laughs> if, you're, if you're embarrassed. But I mean, the, the, one of my pet peeves is that, that parents who will send their kids to school sick. I mean, is there, what's the logic there? Well, absolutely. It's a difficult thing for parents because in most cases when you have a respiratory infection, children's runny nose and coughs will last a good two weeks. Usually the fever is a short period of that, and it's, it's not practical to be out of work for two weeks. Um, and so often children are returning to school and daycare when they still have runny noses and coughs. But that just compounds the problem for everybody, Absolutely, right? and it, it does. And, and unfortunately, I feel like there's not a really great solution to that problem. Um, there are a few um, daycare settings will offer a sick care setting, so now, a child who still has some runny nose and cough can be separated from healthy children. Is that, are you hopeful that's on the rise, that trend of, of daycare centers having a sick care? It would be helpful, certainly, to help that's reduce a, germs that's and a good helpful idea. to parents as good well. Idea. What's the best treatment if, you know, once your child gets the flu? For most kids, the best treatment is stay home, get plenty of rest, chicken noodle soup, plenty of fluids. I do that every day. Um, that's good. That helps keep you healthy. Yeah. Some children should be treated with antiviral medications. Um, these, these are going to be the children who are, who are at higher risk for complications, um, children with asthma, very young children, or children who are household contacts of someone who's at higher risk, such as a grandparent who's on chemotherapy or who has a compromised immune system. Any, any magic uh, treatments or, or the, on the horizon that we might look forward to? Unfortunately, there's not a lot coming in terms of new treatments. Um, there's always new drugs being studied, but not anything right now. There is a new flu vaccine available this year for adults. It's licensed down to age 18. Right. That's um, called, a, it's an intradermal vaccine, so it's administered with a small needle just under the skin. It will probably be approved for children down the road. And I've talked to some of your partners, but tell me again where uh, Ford Simpson Lively and Rice is located. Ford Simpson Lively and Rice Pediatrics is on Maplewood. We're at 2909 Maplewood. Nice in Winston-Salem. We're a Cornerstone Healthcare practice, and we're looking forward to moving into a new building right next door to our current one in That's the right. coming year. That's right, and uh, it's going to be a neat building, too. And here up on screen is the website you can look at for general information as well as that on flu and other things, uh, cornerstonehealth.com. And we're going to have to wrap it up, but will you come back sometime? Absolutely. I'd be I'm, glad to. Yeah, I want to ask you how old you can be before you have to leave your pediatrician. Mm -hmm. I always tell my young people, I'll let them know when they yeah. need to, they need right. to move so on. So you couldn't be my doctor, uh -huh. right? No. I'm too old. <laughs> we'll be right back after.